uh, hello guys in this video you are talking about the different kind of model that we can use in our uh, project like drones helicopters bicopter and tricopter uh, okay uh, let's start with some of the basic models that we see usually okay uh, the one of the most basic model is such kind of uh, motor this is a normal type of motor that uh, usually comes with a remote control car and that type of simple type of device and this is not so much fast motor and it is quite heavy also and it runs in 3.4 voltage that type of uh, current and when this type of motors is used with the gears you can see that okay it can be used for uh, quite heavy loaded tasks such as yeah, this can be used in the um, heavy toy truck or something uh, like robotic arms okay this is uh, made for some normal use and some of the heavy use if used with the gears but not for a uh, fast rotation like uh, in the applying to is like drones and quadcopters okay this motor is for source kind and we are going for another type of motors that we can see uh, this type of motor okay it's quite uh, long with comparison of this motor but uh, it's quite uh, powerful and fast than this type of motor okay this uh, motor i have found in the camera and it's function wise to control the zoom of the lens so it's <coughs> quite uh, fast and quite strong also but uh, we cannot use this in quadcopter and similar gadgets but I have one motor like this okay this is uh, a small motor which is called as a uh, cordless motor okay this motors come in variation of size and this motor can be used to make a small type of drones okay it's, it has high uh, rpm also about 11,000 rpm i think and this type of motor is uh, usually used in a small type of toy drones and helicopters that i have usually seen and if this type of motor is used with the gear like this you can see is the gear we can use uh, to make a uh, quite a uh, large quadcopter with the large propeller like this if you use alone we can use only with this type of small propeller okay without gears it cannot lift a uh, large propeller it's just made for a small propeller a small load okay it has a uh, full rpm in this small type of rotors but when we have to use a large rotor like this we need to use gears like this there is a gears you can see motors gears and we will attach a rotor like this in here okay <coughs> this type of motors are used usually for normal uh, quadcopters and helicopters that you can see in the toy market and <coughs> thereafter come this type of stepper motor okay it has uh, no any use uh, else of doing some shaft work shift work okay pushing and pulling work okay this is used in the some robotic project and nothing else and this is also a small type of cordless motor that we can use in the mini uh flying gadgets and the final motor that we come with is brushless motor the most high speed motor in the current market this type of process motor are uh, currently used in the heavy uh, drones quadcopters helicopters and fast uh, uh, rc car and similar vehicle but uh, this type of uh, motor rc motor <coughs> sorry uh, brushless motor are heavier and quite bulkier than normal type of motor and 
these motors uh, really uh, runs with the high voltage like uh, 8 voltage or 12 voltage and especially we need to use ESC with this like speed controller like this type of speed controller and there is uh, quite heavy weight with the combination of such things in the drones but they have really good strength high speed to to work better i am gonna show you some of the example let's see uh, how much fast it can be okay i have uh, added this with the uh, wire and let's add this with the servo tester okay okay it glows you can see you can see how fast this is and it's in the normal speed mode let me increase the speed okay, let's test this with the load okay let's check this propeller <coughs> okay let's go oh oh it, it lifted it lifted it came up suddenly oh my god <laughs> what happened you can see how strong and how fast this motor is let's check again Oh, <laughs> it, it flew again. Oh my god. <coughs> okay, guys, you have seen the strength of uh, every motors. Okay, and I'm gonna show you. Okay, I, I, I don't have extra wires connected with this motor. Okay, this motor is really slow with the gears up our job. 40 to 50 rpm per minute and only fits for robotics purposes or heavy loaded trucks rc that type of pedals and the best motor that you can use to make a quadcopter are this type of cordless motor cordless motor for a small project like small uh, quadcopter and vehicles and this motor can be run with this small type of lipo battery that you can see small lipo batteries and it uh, can be controlled with the normal type of rc and it doesn't need that type of esc also and it comes with the various size type of small size and i have used it with the gears here a small motor are here okay and this can be used easily and it cost chief very less money than that okay it cost around uh uh thousand in nepalese rupees and when you talk uh in us dollar it cost around eight to ten dollar i think uh in the price that we can afford the process motor we can buy a <laughs> dozens of this type of business model so it's quite cheap and useful to make uh, flying gases from this type of motors but uh, this type of motors are not too much durable and not too much efficient <coughs> that uh, we can use uh, in our project but normally we can use it uh, as to make a prototype or to go with some of the small project but if you want to go with the something cool something effective and something large then you can go with that type of blaster motor okay this 
is a uh, thousand kilovolt motor and one motor requires a uh, ESC attached with this and a power distributor board and controller board and when <laughs> when you are going to run the four motors or three motors for making quadcopter drag after then you need a high voltage battery like a uh, uh, 3000 ams to 5000 ams or above like this kind of battery and this cost more than uh about uh 30 dollar okay it's quite uh expensive to buy these kinds of motors and gadget but this uh it's quite efficient and quite uh useful and effective in product or uh, project we use so it's better to use this kind of project if we if you if we have enough money and we can afford this kinds of gadget and we really gonna make uh, something good project then you can prefer this kind of motors so at the final what i can say is that the usable motors for the quadcopter or drone projects are this type of cordless motor or this type of process motor so don't go with other option like uh, this type of bulk motors or this type of motors and they only waste your time okay guys so if you want to really make a project either go with this cordless motor and gear or go with this normal propeller with the cordless motor or go with some of the big propeller with this type of brushless motor okay uh today's uh only this much and if you have any problem if you have any queries uh, don't forget to ask in the comment i will be presented with the another videos in the uh coming time so today's uh only this much okay stay healthy stay happy stay creative bye bye